Hi, Floss Tube. Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Stitchin'. Episode 344. Three, 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 299 plus 1 is 344. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, people. Well, we made it. We did it. Seven years ago arrived. this week, we made our first. We did. Floss tube. We did. I can't and believe y'all been watching our ugly mugs for seven whole years. <laughs> a lovely, lovely commenter last week and a close contender for Pam's pin comment oh, was the that. woman who said, I watched one of your earlier videos, Pam, and you look oh. younger now than you did back then. And you went and, ahead of the class. And we've <laughs> become best friends ever yeah. since. <laughs> she didn't say anything about me, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're already young. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anyway. Um, that's exciting. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. And uh, if you are new, welcome. Mm -hmm. If you have been part of our journey for uh, upwards of seven yeah. years, uh, we thank you most I sincerely mean. for following along yeah. and um being part of the cross uh just what are we called pam just keep stitching just, family thank you David. get my tongue in the right mm -hmm. position emphasis on the right syllable correct anyway what uh, did you just i say? don't know what <laughs> i just said right quite you, you just Crikey. mixed <laughs> you just mixed correct and right and went correct <laughs> that is exactly what i did yeah, i know uh <laughs> when you sit this close together for seven years you know you read each other's minds you it's do kind of like same brain horrifying you know that kind of thing horrifying all right so, so. um we uh will start off with um what we've been doing for the last week. Yeah. Uh, we do make videos uh, unless, once a week. Unless there's an unusual circumstance, we yep. make them once a week. Barring we, a death or natural disaster. And we post them on Sunday nights, and you have, you know, you have your own lives to live. Yeah. <laughs> so you can Congratulations. watch them. Congratulations. <laughs> you can watch them, whatever. Yeah. But, um, you know, we do have a smattering of, of watchers who, who look for us on Sunday nights. Yeah. And, um, so um that's nice for them. that's always nice to get those oh boy i'm the first commenter yep. kind of comment yeah. so um we love that we've got a lot for you today mm -hmm. in celebration of seven years mm -hmm. uh and one of the things that we are excited about mm -hmm. is that we did go to craft gallery on thursday, thursday. Mm -hmm. uh craft gallery is a <clears throat> cross stitch shop in finley ohio yep if you don't know which is two hours sort of northwest of us mm -hmm. uh, Dayton is kind of Dayton Ohio is kind of halfway there yeah roughly. and uh, so Finley is I guess kind of halfway between Dayton and Toledo Ohio sure. in rough terms sure um, <clears throat> so it's quite a drive but it is always always well worth it yeah um, it is owned by a married couple um, who have been in business coming up on 50 years mm -hmm. carlton and paula fruth and we love them mm -hmm. so much we do. and their lovely staff yes um and uh so uh we got in the car about what 11 ish mm -hmm. and uh got there around uh, a little after lunch mm -hmm. and they had a nice crowd there yeah uh paula um has been one of our regular uh, framers mm -hmm. for as long as since keepsake stop framing yeah. pretty much yeah um and uh like i said uh she is a pro at what she does mm -hmm. and she is super quick yeah super quick yeah. um and we took five pieces up mm -hmm. and brought um, five pieces home and we and we uh brought them all home all mm -hmm. framed and lovely and yes. we can't wait to show you those yes so um that was the highlight of the week mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. um and other than that there hasn't been really a whole lot going on no. uh other than poor stephanie has just been working her Took off. <laughs> Not poor stuff. Um, I like my job. Yeah, you know, she does. But uh, we're getting close to StitchCon. Yep. And so um, everyone's name tags have been printed. We'll, we'll segue into whatever you want to say about um, StitchCon, 
Well, do the update. other thing first. What's the other thing? This first. Oh, you want me to do that thing first? Yes, I do. Yeah, okay, that's what we weird, talked about last night. Weird. You just put all of your stuff on top of your project. Did I? Bed. You did. Hold, please. Okay, so we're going to talk about the sal yep. that I am hosting mm -hmm. in July. Yep. And uh, the big announcement was last week's video. Yes. But if you didn't catch that, I am hosting a sal, which is either a stitch along or a start along. Yeah. You <clears throat> choose your own adventure. Choose your own adventure. And it is for this chart by Twin Peak Primitives called The Nutcracker. Mm -hmm. And that picture is actually a picture of the framed model mm -hmm. that is at Keepsakes currently. Yeah. And uh, I purchased this chart uh, when it was released. Mm -hmm. I think it was last year. I'm not sure. It wasn't this year. Well, keep talking. Anyway, um, I've loved the chart and I've admired the model. Uh, the model was stitched by our friend Sandy. Um, Sandy is a model stitcher for the twins occasionally. And um, so having met Sandy at StitchCon and so forth, mm -hmm. um, it had special meaning. Plus, who doesn't love the Nutcracker at Christmas time? I mean, truly. So kind of on that whole Christmas in July or Jolly July or however you want to talk about yeah. it. Um, I thought it would be fun to host another Sal yeah. of a twins design. Of course, we started way back when with Pam's mm -hmm. Main, and then we did I'll Be Home, and they were both incredibly successful Sal's with mm -hmm. lots and lots of participants, and we hope we um, we get as as many, if not more, for this one. Yeah. Um, so details. Twenty twenty three. 2023. That's what I thought. So, um, I mean, well, well, I mean, you don't need to go through all the details. Everything you listed is in last week's episode. Well, so that's I'll, true. So that's I would true. go back and watch that and not waste but everyone's the time. But update is about the project bag. Uh, yes. So when I decided to do the project, um, I thought, well, I need a nutcracker project bag. Sure. And I did not know this before. Mm. But our lovely friends at So Much to Love mm. had a beautiful project bag, Nutcracker themed. Yes. So I thought, well, that's just too perfect. perfect. And um, so I purchased it. And I know at least one other person who saw it either on my Instagram, Facebook, or here mm -hmm. um, said she got one. And yeah. we have the latest update from Karen. We didn't check today, but as of a couple of days ago, uh, Karen said she had a few left. Yes, she was so, able to put her hands on some more fabric. Yeah, so. this lovely, lovely fabric. Here. Yes. And so, this gold one crack is to die for. It's man. so good. Okay. So So there's that update. Yes. And then here, I'm going to put that in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then <clears throat> if you are interested in getting the chart, uh, the chart is not exclusive to Keepsakes. Keepsakes is the local data workshop here. It's also where I work, so there's that. Um, but if you are interested in getting the chart, the chart is up on the Keepsakes website. So, Can't be easier. No. Um, it will also, if you're coming to StitchCon, um, the model and uh, the charts and thread packs, and there's fabric and trunk shows, um, will be all available in the annex if you want to pick it up then. Right. Um, here's the deal with the thread packs. They're not put together yet, but we have thread to suffice for thread packs unless we get like 700 people that call me tomorrow and want them. But we've been able to, anyone that has inquired since the announcement last Sunday, all of your orders have been shipped. So, um, that's great. unless you're picking it up at the shop or whatever, but, mm -hmm. um, in any case, they're ready for you. Mm -hmm. So we've been able to pull from stock as opposed to making separate thread packs. So, um, if you are interested in getting either floss added or fabric added, then just call the shop. Um, I've listed the keep six information in the description box below for you to call. Mm -hmm. Um, 
and but if you just want the chart only then it is up on the website and you can just go through that route if you prefer yeah. um so those are the two biggest nutcracker updates there you go so um the um <clears throat> like steph said the chart is on the keep six website mm -hmm. now yes um and the reason we're kind of preparing so far in advance uh is with StitchCon kind right. of right smack dab prior in to right. in, in June. Yes. So um, we're kind of taking this kind of in baby steps and making right. sure everybody gets what they want. Yes. Any any neutral, I would suggest, fabric Absolutely. is suitable. Yeah. Um, I'm stitching mine on Dune from Atomic. Mm -hmm. And um, we did have some Dune in stock, so I was able to fulfill maybe yep. two or three orders of Dune. Yep. Still, but so. anything on that line, after you look yeah. at the picture, uh, you'll see that, you know, there's such bright colors in all of the different characters from the yes. ballet. Yeah. Uh, anything will pop up. Absolutely. So, For sure. Um, I mean, anything will make the um, yes. characters pop. Absolutely. I would okay. agree with that. Um, and then, so that sort of segues into the StitchCon update for the week. Mm -hmm. So let's talk keepsakes and StitchCon. So in regard to the shop, next Friday, which is May 24th, is going to be the last day for in-person stitching at the shop, excuse me, until after the 4th of July. Yeah. Um, it just is too hectic. There's, yeah. I mean, there's anyone that's been in the shop. I was just going to say, if you've been there, you know. I mean, there's just so many boxes already. So yeah. um, we need all the table space we can get. And so um, there's no in-person stitching after next Friday, May 24th. So please note that. I know that we have groups coming on, you know, like that typically come on Wednesdays and Fridays and so, and Saturdays, but yesterday was the last Saturday. So, um, just be note of, take note of that. Um, in the weeks, in the week before and the week between both stitch cons, keep six is open regular hours. Um, there's no, we don't close after weekend a for any reason, you know, it's a madhouse. I mean, of us getting reorganized for weekend B for sure. Yeah. But if you are in town or staying a day after day or two after weekend A, you can of course come to the shop. It's not a big deal. Or you come early for weekend B. Correct. So if you're coming early for weekend A, the shop is open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that whole week, um, and of course over the weekend for SwitchCon, and then the same goes for weekend B. And then after weekend B, we are open that week. After weekend B, okay, because we have all these trunk shows and stuff that we have to get back to the designers. So, um, and then we're actually open for the two weeks at the end of June. And then we are closed. Keepsakes is closed from the uh, July 1st, which is a Monday, through the 8th. So that entire week. Give the... Give the gang a rest. Yes. So over the 4th of July, we're closed. The exact dates and stuff, I'm pretty sure I just gave you the correct ones, but we, of course, will have them posted on the Keep Six it's social media. So just as a heads up for those that are traveling for the summer. Mm -hmm. um, and then let's talk about shipping and stuff like that. So what I'm about to say applies to everything except for Nutcracker stuff, because we know that people, since we're talking about it and all of that. So... If you go on the Keepsakes website right now onto our web shop, we have all of the things that we've had on there for months. Um, you know, uh, any town, tiny town, courage cell, fabric, threads, things like that that are on the website. After next Friday, the only thing that will be available on the Keepsakes web shop will be the Nutcracker. That's it. We're going to hide everything else. And then after June 1st, the Nutcracker's coming down. Because I don't have, I am the ship, you're looking at the shipping department. <laughs> I also am basically like the, between Barbara and I, we have the biggest responsibilities of running StitchCon. Right. And I just can't do everything because I need to sleep and eat. Yeah. So, um, the 
Keepsakes Web Shop will reopen in its entirety with Nutcracker and all after our 4th of July vacation. Yeah. So that's another reason why we're talking about the Nutcracker so early is because yeah. we're taking all that time off before, with not time off. Right. We're taking, you know, the, the Keepsakes website's going to be shut off. And, it's, and the sale is kind of open yeah. to any part of July. Right. Really? Yeah. Um, I guess we're kind of zeroing in on the 15th. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because of those um, web shop mm -hmm. um, suspensions and so forth. Yeah. But uh, it's loosey-goosey. Yes, it's, yes. It's uh, the sale. It's mm -hmm. not the shop. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, so that segues into just general keepsakes order shipping. So... Please understand if you either place a new order or are waiting on an existing order. There, If you place an order after the 24th of May, there's a very slim chance that it will go out until after StitchCon. It's a long way, so just be aware. Yeah, so just heads up about that. I mean, if it's there's a lot of things that I can do from home, mm -hmm. um, but if... There's a lot of things I can't do from home, too. So um, just keep that in mind when you're placing your orders. Um, if, you know, I know that very few of you um, don't have anything else to stitch. So I know that there's people that are willing to wait, and that is wonderful. We appreciate that so much. So if you are interested in stitching the Nutcracker cell for sure, I would jump on getting your supplies ASAP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just so then you don't have to worry about when there's a shop closed and da 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 all that. Right. So I know I just, we both like just gave you a lot of information, but I just want everyone to have a heads up. And mm -hmm. so we'll kind of review all of those things next week as well. So everyone's on the same page. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then um, just general StitchCon update information. So um, this past week, in the StitchCon Facebook page, um, I posted a big long post about um, raffles, prizes, giveaways, things like that that we do at StitchCon. Um, and so if you haven't read that, then please go and read that. Um, a lot of the information is similar to things that we've done in the past. We've also made some changes to hopefully improve that whole process. Um, every year, StitchCon picks a local charity that we call the StitchCon Service Project. Um, and we raise money. It's always a local, like either Sharonville or Cincinnati, local charity. Um, and then between both weekends, we raise money with auctions, with raffle ticket and prizes, um, to go towards that charity. And like, so last year, for example, um, we, between both weekends raised over $40,000, which is just absolutely incredible. Um, and so we keep the charity under our hat until weekend A, when we reveal who the charity is, um, but pretty cool I think so um so all of that information like you know the raffle tickets are only sold they're cash only um and we do auctions on Saturday nights for like larger ticket items I become the stitch con auctioneer and auction things off it's very fun um but it can the price can go up on those kind of things so just we just wanted everyone to be prepared for that um and then um the other thing that I just posted last night is the Stitchy Bus schedule for StitchCon. Um, that will be posted to the StitchCon website within the next few days. Um, Melinda, our website girl, was on retreat um, this past week. so um, But it will be up there. And the important thing to know is that basically the Stitchy Bus loop is between keepsakes and the convention center. Right. There is no hotel stops. There's no any extra stops other than keepsakes and the convention center. Mm -hmm. So very simple schedule. Um, there's no need to sign up. It's all it's free to ride the city bus. Um, so that information was posted. Um, probably this upcoming week, the itinerary will be posted. Um, and 
on the 1st of June, I will post a finalized list to the StitchCon Facebook page of all the attending floss tubers. Like a complete list. So, I think that's everything. Wow. For news and announcements and things. Okay. Okay. So, all right. <clears throat> now let's do fun things. Let's do fun things. Not that that's not fun, but. This is true. All right. <coughs> we do not have a. We don't have a Stitch Harmony, harmony. Uh, this week. Yep. That's um, right. Maybe the popularity of that is waning. Don't know. Whatever. But we're available if you need to help. We need a friend. If you need a friend. We're here for you. We're here. Okay. Okay. Um, all we need is your name and where you live. And use the hashtag Stitch Harmony and we will pick one a week. That's right. If we have one. Okay. Next. That means it's time for Pam's Pin Comment. And Pam's Pin Comment is the... Um, yeah, it is. Favorite comment of mine of all the comments from last week. And um, if you recall, at the beginning of last week's video, we did sort of a... Um, how we use Q-Snaps tutorial. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, this is in reference to that, and mm -hmm. this comes to us, and I believe she is another floss tuber. This comes to us from Harbor Stitcher, and I think that's Jen, who lives in uh, Washington State. Okay. So, shout out to Jen, and uh, this is what she wrote. Thank you both for always being such a bright light with strong dash of realism in the floss tube world. Well, thank you. That's yeah, nice. if we're nothing else, we're real. Yeah. It's, I just had to say how hard I laughed listening to your Q-Snap instructions. Oh, boy. Two different images popped in my head. <laughs> Yikes. Number one, the new dance craze for the cross-stitch world is going to be push, pop, slide. <laughs> you probably know what that reference is. Yep. I think we need full dance tutorial in the next video. Oh, absolutely Dream not. on. Yeah, yeah. Nope, not happy. Number two, you're going to give the Rice Krispies guys a run for their money. Snap, crackle, pop. Better watch out because push, <laughs> pop, pop, and slide are coming for them. Yes. Keep the amazing videos coming. That's Thank funny. you, Jen. You're a sweetheart. That's and funny. Um, I, I loved it. it. I yes. loved it. Because I'm nice. the generation that remembers cereal commercials, so... There exactly. Exactly. Okay. Um, I just want you to know that I also remember cereal commercials. Oh, you do? Yes. Oh, okay. I, I don't Saturday know. morning cartoons. Come on, Pam. Okay. The the tricks rabbit. I was you know snap crackle pop. I was either busy or still in bed when they were lucky busy. charms. Okay, you know, all right. The honeybee honey nut Cheerios. What kind of Cheerios? Honey nut Cheerios. Oh, they just said honey nut. Honey <laughs> <Chunny> nut. <laughs> it's like honey nut. Yeah. Ready? Ready. Okay, that's the signal oh for our silver and gold segment, which is our floss tube shout outs. Yes. Speaking of floss tube. Yes. And we usually feature a silver floss tuber, mm -hmm. which is a pretty new, pretty mm -hmm. spanking new, mm -hmm. shiny and fresh. Yes. Um, and a gold floss tuber. Uh, who has been making videos uh, a little bit longer? Yes. Than than just little the seasoned. other day. Yeah, a little seasoned. Our silver floss tuber is a lovely gal named Natasha, mm -hmm. and her floss tube channel is called Bridges Get Stitches. And I love there are it. Underscores in there. So yes. So if you haven't caught Bridges Get Stitches, it'll be linked below. Okay. She is in the greater Cincinnati area. Yeah. I think Fairfield, but I'm not sure. Okay. So she's been to our LNS keepsakes uh, multiple times, and um, she's coming back to yes. StitchCon. She was there last year. Yes. Um, <clears throat> things to know about Natasha. She started making floss tubes, and I think she already <laughs> had a YouTube channel. She also is quite the, the seamstress. Mm -hmm. So I think she had a, a channel for that kind of thing, and uh. she's... Jumped into floss too. Big sure, time. sure. Uh, started in February 2023, and she's made 27 videos. Um, she makes her own bags, which, you know, if you know how to use the machine, the machine. make your own bags. There you go. She dyes her own fabric. Um, she's involved in a lot of sales and a lot of different themed stitching groups. Um, she's very much part of the fandom um, oh, I see. community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, she also talks a lot about books. She's also doing 
the uh, Treasure Island from oh, Al Forest. Nice. And um, so that was fun for me to see. Yeah, for sure. And um, the other great thing, uh, just like Steph, she puts a lot of work in her description box. We love and, a clean, lovely description and, and box. And inclusive. And she lists all the um, mm. recommends, as she calls them, other floss tube channels, cool. you know. And they're just flourishing. So, awesome. Uh, I highly recommend you check out Natasha yes. at britches underscore get Blitz. underscore stitches. Is britches the way. get stitches. Got it. Yeah, britches okay. get stitches. Yeah, love it. All okay. right, and the gold. So, and the gold is uh, a lovely gal who is also returning to StitchCon. Yes. She's been here before. Her yep. name is Tara, and her channel is the 805 Stitcher. Yes, and if you, you can guess the 805. 805. Yeah, 805 is her area code. She comes yes. from, uh, is it Sherman Oaks? It's um, Los Angeles. Yeah. It's California. Uh, California, basically. Um <laughs> She is a bag maker to the extent that she sells them. She sells, yes. she has she has an Etsy shop she does. where she sells her um but, project bags. And we've purchased them before. Have we? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I um, thought it sounded familiar. But um what I was gonna say was I think uh I think that she sells more than Oh no, it is just project bags. Yeah, you can even purchase a gift certificate. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. To her Etsy shop, which I think is I mean, she's got a idea. ton of great yeah. stuff in here. Um, but yeah, I thought, I was wondering if it was charts and stuff too, but no, it's just project yeah. bags, which is fun. Um, Tara started making floss tubes back in November of 2019. It's hard to believe that that was five years ago. I mean, truly. Me. Um, and she's made 40 of them. Yep. Um, That's she, awesome. Um, She's been to a lot of retreats. She went to Stitch New England. She went to Beach Please. She just got back from Stitch West, the spring one, with, um, uh, who was the featured designer? Where? At Stitch West. Oh, Primrose. Primrose. I knew it was P. I couldn't think of it. Yeah. And um, she does kind of a interesting little segment uh, called Mom's Corner because her mom who was a prolific stitcher, has a lot of treasures that um, uh, she talks about. So um, go check cool. out Tara. You probably already watch her, but just in case you don't, um, go check out Tara at, um, that's uh, Tara. I mean, look at this really beautiful retreat set she made. Yeah. Oh, it's so yeah, she's a impressive. Pro. She's a pro. So there's two good ones to go find. Yeah. And, um, until StitchCon happens, the floss tubers that we're going to feature in silver and gold are ones that are coming to StitchCon this year that we haven't already shouted out in the past. Yes. Yes. And believe me, we need a spreadsheet to keep A hundred percent. And sometimes it, that isn't even enough. Exactly. Anyway, so um, that's our silver and gold. Yes. Um, we are... Um, Obviously, as mentioned before, celebrating seven years. We started Thursday. on May 23rd, yes, which is Thursday this week in 2024. Mm -hmm. We started in the solarium, and um, we have all the feels for anybody. What, 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 what? It was sticking right out of your glasses. Oh, all the feels for people who are uh, contemplating doing floss tube, uh, uploading that first video. Um, all the um, technical issues that we've experienced over the years mm. from from using <laughs> a laptop to going out to eat just to get good Wi-Fi to... Listen, we've done it all, <laughs> people, okay? You know, it, to editing and But everything. I feel like now it's like a well-oiled machine, don't you think? Oh, yeah. You yeah, know? It is. It is. I and, mean, sure, every once in a while we'll run into a, a situation, but yeah, like... yeah. And we just record on the phone and... Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've just been us this whole time, you know. Oh, yeah, so. there's no pretense with us yeah. at all. And um, I think um, if you are like, oh, I can't wait to meet you kind of thing, th this is us. We're the yeah. same in person as we are. Um, in, in, um, people, think, people have said that they think I'm taller. Yeah, because you don't know, get a sense of how... Somebody looks from the shoulders down. I'm six six. In most cases, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Six. 
<laughs> I yeah. Five, seven. yeah, but um, so anyway, um, we want to sincerely thank yes. um, everybody who yeah. has joined our uh, community, mm -hmm. who has, if not faithfully every week, my goodness. And we uh, know if you're not watching. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just uh, been always engaged with yeah. us and in yeah. our, um, in our, with uh, our content with our content, with our lives, uh, lives that we've done. Remember 2020 when Stephanie did the stay home with Steph gonna... lives yeah, on that was Instagram. Fun. Oh my goodness. Yep. Uh, we've been through a lot. We have, we have been through a lot. Yeah. Um, and, um, those of you who we've met at various retreats that we've been to, mm -hmm. we've been almost coast to coast yeah, and, um, uh, we've enjoyed meeting everybody that yeah. comes up to us and yeah. thanks us for um, and making we get to them. meet a bunch of new people in a couple and weeks. And she's right. I mean, it comes very natural to us now. Yeah. We're kind of in a rhythm mm -hmm. and um, we yep. don't foresee the end. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're I mean, unless we get unless we get canceled. <laughs> For Who saying, would cancel us? I don't know for saying dumb stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. There's no cross stitch police, so right. I, I don't think there's floss stitch. No, I don't think that we're problematic. So I no, think we're I good. yeah, we we stay pretty even keel. We you do. Know. You know, there's you know? not a whole lot of. We know when to keep our mouths shut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes we failed even at that. Yeah, but we're true. not perfect. But we're us, but, and yeah, we um, we thank you for sticking with us. And Absolutely. On to um, on year to eight. year number eight. Holy moly! Oh, holy moly! That's fun. Um, so uh, right. it's time to talk about stitching. Let's do that. Um, we will. Um, what are we uh, going to do? Talk about cross stitch. When are we going to talk about the framing? Where it says BFF in the notes. Oh. Because that's, that's back from the framer. Okay. Doesn't mean best friends forever. I mean, it does, but not in this context. Okay. okay. All right. That's what BFF is. It All is, right. Yeah. That's so we're going to talk about since, stitching finally, everybody who's like, come on, get with it. Come on, get with it. Since, epi since you know, episode. Read the notes, Pam. One. BFF has meant back from the framer. Okay. Anyway. So, I've just been chugging along. I don't really have a lot to show, and I'm sorry for that, but it is what it is. Yeah. Um, so, I'm working on a pattern out of the book United We Stand by Blackbird Designs, and I am working on the pattern called Clustered Stars, which that is one third of the pattern, and I should... Earmark this page. Um, and then that is the other part. I have that part completely done. So then I'm working on the flag part. And then the third part has these words here. And um, it's originally supposed to be a needle book. I'm not doing a needle book. I'm going to frame it. Three things. Okay. Um, and I am not, I still haven't taken out the Q snap to show everyone because I'm terrible, but, um, I am stitching this on a 36 count fabric from Be Stitch Me that I got in a Friday night fight night year or two ago. Um, so it doesn't really have a name. Um, and, but I'm using all the called for threads, which are a week's dye works with one thread over two on 36 and that is where I'm at this week. So basically all I was able to do, I did finish the cream. So all the cream is done. And then I did the red bits down here. These up here I already had in last week. But uh, I decided like I did this section and I decided to go over because I have to like count because it's, you know, free floating. Um, but then once I do that, then it's just fill in the rest. So, that's why I chose to do it that way. So, I love it. I love it so much. Um, and I think there's maybe three, maybe four days this week that I didn't stitch. So, I apologize that my content is leaves a lot to be desired this week. But, that's okay. At least you all have name tags at StitchCon. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, but it's nice. Um, it'll be like a good um, like fill-in situation. So, Good. There you go. That's that's what I've been doing this week. But Pam made up for it and then some. 
Yeah, so. I think so. All right. Do you need this note, Pam? No. Okay. Uh, so I'm on my second of three WIPCO calls. I didn't get to say what I normally say. That's what I've been doing with my life, Pam. What about you? What have you been doing with your life? Okay, it's, go. It's seven years. You gotta, it, yeah, you gotta you be got, consistent. You do, yeah. Okay, go. All right, so this is my second of three WIPCO calls. It is Summer Quaker from Leela Studio. Yep. And you've seen lots of people tackle this one. It is a beauty. And I am stitching this on... 40 count. 40 count with one strand. Mm -hmm. It's a color and cotton fabric. It's at the a month. color and cotton, yep. I can't remember the name of it right now. Well, it's Tower for the Month, so I don't know if it matters. Um, and um, I will work on this, I think, till Wednesday or Thursday before I switch to the third whip go. Yeah. Um, so I'm here. Woo! Woo! Well, I am. And um, I did have a little bit of a challenge um, with some spacing that was... Um, Corrected by Leela on her website. Mm -hmm. so, so if you're I'm, stitching this pattern, make sure make you go sure to her you website. Go to her website. It's uh, it's um, uh, LeelaStudio.net, I think. Yeah, and, I think it's Leela. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Leela. Yeah, and so, um, yeah, what we're but I love it. Um, this it's next so section is going to be the three crabs on the top. Right up here. Oh, that'll be fun. And so I'm hoping that by the end of my um, rotation on mm. this, that I have get the crabs this, in? that I have the crabs. They don't have crabs. Then I'll have crabs. Great. <laughs> so, anyway, I, I that's my hope. That. That's my hope and dream for you too. Why yeah. this come right out? I don't know. There's just know. a lot of fabric happening. Well, I've you. moved it around a lot. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. All right. So that was number one. Next. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to get back. Those of you who have been um, regular viewers might know that uh, there was a period, I think, mostly in 2023 when I had a lot of sales and I actually scheduled them on different days. That but wasn't this year? I don't think so. Okay. Wow. Um, so uh, what I was starting to say was that I'd gotten away from that. Yeah. I think when 24 starts in 2024 started this calendar year for me. Yeah, for and, sure. And so forth. Um, I kind of eased deviated. off those. I deviated from the sale schedule. So I'm trying to get back to that, which oh. means that I assign all my sales to a particular day of the week. Mm -hmm. I'm retired, so, you know, I can do whatever the heck I want. Amen. Um, so one of those sales was the Sunday stocking sale, which mm. was hosted by two or three people, um, one of them being Highway Stitcher uh, Colette, of course, mm -hmm. and, um, oh, Amy, Amy loves yeah, yeah. Um So this is the one that I picked, because if you Obviously. don't know, I'm originally from the great state of Maine. So this is an old Jan Lynn kit. Mm -hmm. uh, don't even ask me. I mean... 1998. Oh, it's a good year, people. And I am stitching this on... Are you going to have a start for the Olympics? Any excuse for a start in my book. I'm really excited about the uh, Olympics. What are you looking I'd, for? I'd have to think. I'm trying to remember what fabric I'm stitching this on. But it's from Under the Sea Fabrics. Galeen? That doesn't sound right. Okay, great. Anyway, it's a light blue from Leslie. <laughs> and I worked on this a little bit today because it's Sunday. So Sunday stocking sale, and yeah. I what I had left unstitched was this snow field right here yep. to fill in. It's um, got a few off whites and beiges and sure. light grays in there, but it's all filled in now. So sure. this whole wow. field of snow and these two fields of snow, wow. and there'll be some snow on this side. Yeah, there better be. But um. That's why it's still in the queue snap. Yeah. So I love this. It it's, is so pretty. It's two over two on this uh, even weave, and I like the feel of it for a stocking. It just yeah. feels more substantial. Sure. Than a I can't wait for the back stitch. Yeah, that'll really make it pop. Yeah. So be fun. that's one of my um, scheduled sales. Here, Pip. There's that, and then there's that. So those of you 
who may have seen me work on that back a ways ago mm. are probably saying, oh, wow. It's all coming back. It's all coming back. Exactly. And then another one that I was... Um, another, um, and this tells you how old some of these sounds mm -hmm. were when they started. This was called the Market 2023 sound. Oof. Pick your favorite market release from Market 2023. <laughs> Yikes. And stitch it. And so I picked Five O'Clock from Ink Circles. Mm -hmm. Someday... Hopefully, I will have a happy hour wall. Yep. Upon which that will be hung. Yes. I mean, part of. And, um. That's right. Well, I've got two. Oh, you have That's two needle I'm... miters on that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I, I drawed this one out. <laughs> and, um, I had a similar spacing Good. problem. Mm. Uh, and it wasn't a spacing problem. It was that the chart was different than the, the picture. The chart was different from the picture. Yeah. Um, which anybody who stitched this, and actually I know Jen Harbor Stitcher was stitching this, and uh -huh. she probably went through this same thing, wow. um, is the pearl onions on the... Well, show them the stuff. Um, on the... I hate that you have two needle marks. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. It's fine. Uh, these so, three yes. pearl onions over here. Yes. Uh, the picture only has two. It does. So that Which was is, a situation where I um, we're made just, photocopies yeah. of the two pages because it was a page break. Right. To, of course. To get it in my head that there were three pearl onions so that everything matched. would match up. Yeah. Because the cover photo only shows two. Yeah. The cover photo where my finger is only shows two pearl onions. But it's charted with three. But it's charted with three, and, and the funny, chart was correct. I so. would never, ever look, at the, look at the picture. I don't know how I did, but when I did, I kind of freaked. Yeah, obviously. But I love this. I love this, too. Do you know how to do the fabric? Uh, let me see. I haven't had this out in a minute. Yep. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's a Jude, isn't it? No. No. Uh... <laughs> no, you don't have it. That's fine. Um, it's, mum, 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 mum. it's not that. It's not the call for. No. <clears throat> I mean, it but, doesn't really matter, but. But it's a it's a pale mint green. I don't oh yeah, they know. can see it for sure. When I post on Instagram, um, I always okay. put all my details. Yeah, I always yeah, yeah. put the name of the pattern sure, sure, sure. and the what I'm using yeah, for absolutely fabric and thread. Awesome. So I worked on that yesterday for uh, the day that I had assigned that sale to. Okay. Okay. And um, this is um, the project that my friend Tony and I are getting together and working on, but we've decided we're going to take a little pause from it. With Stitch Hong coming up. Um, it is from the Stitching Book Club, which I think one of the two uh, floss tubers that we shouted out is part of that. Well, um, probably, don't you think it's Natasha with all of her books? Yeah, I think it might be. I think it might be. Mom, the new one is Emma. I'm not going to oh, do Emma. Yeah. I'm not into those. Uh, into those girls. Into those girls. I'm not. No, no. Um, fine. You're allowed. Anne of Green Gables I am into. So 100%. this was the selection. And yes, Emma, no. <laughs> this was the selection a year or so ago. Sure. I don't know. Yeah, last year. Yeah. Um, it's designed by Kristen Ashley from Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts, and I haven't shown this because, truthfully, I'm going real slow on it. <laughs> Tony's just barreling along. Well, that's all you, all you do, I'm sure, is sit there and chit-chat. No, when we talk. That's what but I mean. But since I haven't shown it in a while, and I did get to a kind of a stopping point, I got Anne in the other day, so that's what it looks like there. And so after the A, after the E, you know, it's always and with an E. Obviously. Um, then you have the words. Um, of. Of. The word of mm -hmm. after that. That's why there's a space. That's why and with an E is not centered in Correct. that block. Correct. So um, we're going to pause till after StitchCon because we're both really busy. And yeah. um, maybe right. I keep saying, you know, if we. 
have to take a break on a given week because of appointments and she's having some work done at her house and mm -hmm. I say to her, oh, that'll give me time to catch up. Yeah, and that never, never happens. happens. Um, so that is uh, Anna Green Gables from the Stitching Book Club. Yep. Gotcha. And let's see. Let's see. Yeah, that's oh, so. Um, this was another sale that I decided I needed to revisit. This <laughs> was a. <sighs> I'm trying, people. I'm I know, really Pam. She gives me a hard time. But, I do. You know, I give it right back. Yep. Uh, this was historical houses sale or something yep. like that. That is exactly And so I picked out of my stash the Steinbeck House, Salinas, California. These are all ones you haven't shown in a while. That's why I thought it would be a good idea. Yeah. Well, you and, thought right. Um, this is on a mystery fabric from Fortnite. Okay. Not, not that it wasn't labeled, but I honestly could not read the name of the fabric on the label when it came. There you go. But I liked the fabric a lot. Their fabric really was great. Mm. So what I got done this week was the high roof, the high, um, yeah, the roof that's at the highest point. <laughs> yeah. It won't be in the end, but it's well, no. the highest so far. Right. And that uses blended 844 and 310. Wow. So you can see that that's why this chart is dated. I would uh, rather die. Thank you. 2005. And then are there like little black? Yeah. Okay. And some are just plain black. 2005. And I uh, noticed the chart was a big old 595. Woof. But these were... Yeah, these are very cool. These Debbie Patrick um, houses are phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So, um... Very that's, fun. That's what it's going to look like. I didn't know whether I showed it or not. And so you just did this roof here. That roof there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And I, they do the blend to make it look like shingles, I guess, right? I don't know what they're shooting for. But, you, know, you know, let's call up Debbie and see what she says. Pam, put, don't put it in that way. Put it in that way. Oh, that's right. So. I'm here for you, you know? Always and always. And then, and then. Uh-huh. Next. Aren't you glad I only had one whip? <laughs> We'd be here for 17 days. I got one of my unicorns lent Woo! to me. It's a birds of a feather. Uh-oh. And do I even have the original? Because when I get the original and it's an out-of-print unicorn i put it in a safe place and i work, make a working copy so here do you want me to find a color photo no because i think it'll take you a while so this is a black and white photo no I, I, truthfully that's how rare this is what's the name of the chart poor jack from birds of a feather and that's a photocopy a black photocopy of the cover and it calls for birds of a feather fabric uh, for those of you who don't know, Birds of a Feather stopped designing for cross-stitch a long time ago. They also designed for needlepoint. So there are a lot of things that were... Did you find Here's one? Here's a color photo. Yes. And, I'm not, sorry it took me so long. I'm such and a dick. We were fortunate enough to have... It was probably a full yard, wasn't it? Yeah. Easily. Of... The called for birds with feather fabric, which is called Sparrow. Sparrow. Yes. And truthfully, I can't imagine doing it. I can't else. imagine doing it on any other fabric. Without question. So I started this because it's borrowed. I don't yes. want to just throw it on a pile and forget about Correct. it. Correct. Like she did herself. Like I did <laughs> myself. I guess this is like a comedy hour now. I <laughs> I don't know. Last week was Mother's Day, so I got to even things out. <laughs> um, so I, I cut the fabric down to size. Stephanie searched it at the shop, yeah. and oh, so I got good. started on it yesterday afternoon. And I just, I kept, so cool. I kept showing her, and I kept saying, this is a joy. Yeah. Yep. This is an absolute joy. It's so pretty. So I started in the upper left-hand corner, mm -hmm. and. Show the people. This is what it looks like, you guys. Oh. 
Look at that. I'm using all the called for weeks threads. It's on 32 count birds of a feather sparrow linen. I mean, look at that linen. And the orange is um, carrot. Carrot. Is it? The black is charcoal. Oh, that shows it true right yep, there. That is exactly what it looks like. Um, the letters. Yeah, what is that? Four is believe it or not sea foam. Huh. Funny. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, but it pops, man. It pops. Oh, it's so, so cool. You know, it it just stitches fast. Mm. They're all cool. um, 15 stitches across oh, yeah. and down the squares. And cool. so you just do the dominant and then you just fill mm. in and yeah. it is a blast. That's awesome. So this is going to be my next unicorn um, project. Cool. Which I love. Yep. And... Those oh, are our whips of the week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Thank you. Okay. And then uh, last but certainly not least. Right. I am doing the Pine Mountain Snapshots uh, that mm -hmm. are um, for every month of the year. Yes. And I really need to kind of stay ahead of them, particularly for the next two months. Yeah. Because then of, you'll get behind because, because of, of being so busy. Yeah. So um, I wanted to finish the first of May, uh, first half of May. I wanted to do the June, get the June done. Mm -hmm. And this is what they look like. They're individual charts. Mm -hmm. And I was inspired to do these by our friend Brenda at Handwork Maniac. Mm -hmm. And I finished it. What were we watching? Some finale. Was it a finale? No, it was Survivor, but it wasn't the finale. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh. Brenda so said it was her favorite. It's my favorite too so far. Although yeah. I loved the January with the... Yeah, with, with the, the long johns. With the long john pajamas. But... um. This is pretty darn close. It's so cute. So here we are, June, guys. Oh, look at it. Isn't that amazing? Look at the little mouth hands. So, so fun. And the bear is the just bear, so cute. Spooking on the, on the camping the Spooking team. on them. Yeah. Spooking on them. And the Swiss Army knife, the compass. Yeah, it's so cute. The match. Yep. It's just adorable. adorable. So, I... um. I pulled out July, and I need to pull all the threads for it. Wait till you see July. It's it so is, cute. It is so cute. Do you have it in there? And No, because oh. I put it over there yeah. to pull the threads. I that was you. on 32 count, uh, one more reproduction from the stitch. Yep. Awesome. So, um, happy, happy finishes, finishes everyone. everyone. All righty. Okay. So, now, I'm going to pause for a second. All right, so the next section is the back from the framer. Okay. okay, this is what we need to say right up front. I don't know when we first added links to oh. buy me a coffee. Yeah. Has it been a year? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah, it's been yeah, a year. Yeah, if not longer. And the incredible generous donations that people have made by buying a framing finishing postage donation. A buy me coffee or Ko-Fi donation, yeah. Just, there are no words. There are no words. Yeah. I want you to look at the quality of the framing of these pieces mm -hmm. and know yeah. for a fact right. that this was paid for down to the penny mm -hmm. with all of your donations. Yep. And we thank you most sincerely. Absolutely. These will not only be displayed prominently in our home, mm -hmm. but um, they will be displayed uh, at StitchCon mm -hmm. coming up. Yep. Both weekends. Yep. Um, and... We cannot thank you enough. Absolutely. We cannot thank you enough. Yes. Um, when we walked into Craft Gallery, uh, aside from the two big ones, they were hanging on the wall. Mm -hmm. 
and um, the folks that were there for their luncheon get together mm -hmm. were on and on over over them. Yeah, but it was great. We would not have been able to get them framed without considerable yeah. expense to us. Sure, without your donations, and we consider you to be a part of our family. Absolutely. So, so thank absolutely, you so much. Absolutely, thank you so much. Uh, start with this one. Sure. So uh, when I messaged Paula and said, can you get some framing done for us if I come up? My main concern was the Courage Sale because I had started it at StitchCon in 2023. Yeah. And I kind of wanted it on the brag table in 2024. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, sure. So um, this is the uh, design from Praiseworthy Stitches. Mm -hmm. And it is stitched on 32 count Anye even weave from under the sea fabrics using the call for threads. And yep. it is called Simple Gifts Courage. And I want to say again how gobsmacked I was <laughs> at how many people participated in that cell. Yeah. For, and are still participating in it. And still participating in it. And good for you. Mm -hmm. And people got very creative with it. Mine is more traditional, but the stories and the reasons behind you participating in this design, yeah. Sal, were <clears throat> very heartwarming. Very yeah, heartwarming. For sure. So, so this is um, Simple Gifts Courage mm -hmm. from Praiseworthy Stitches. And, woo! There she is. Mm. Really pretty. Just beautiful. So, so fun. Yep. Um, the frame is just a Here. sort of a ma mahogany looking. Um, yep, it's pretty gorgeous. Very uh, simple frame. Mm -hmm. And Lovely. I, I just love it. Yep. So. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Then... Um, let's do this one next. Okay. So, uh, the next one was a long-standing whip of mine. Um, I had many fond childhood memories of playing Monopoly on the front porch, on the picnic table in the backyard, mm -hmm. for hours, sometimes days. Do you remember doing that? Carrying days. over? I've never played a Monopoly game for days. Oh, yeah. We would make sure we had all That's our so piles cool. of money, put it back in the box so we could... Oh, okay. So you like you did pause. Oh, yeah. We kept everything the way it was. Oh, okay. okay. It was all okay. one game. I just thought you could Over multiple days in the summertime. That's usually. wild. And uh, Paula said she's, the, she's framed this Multiple Several times. times. So we went with kind of a mid-century look, kind of an art art deco kind of look. Ugh, and so hard to show. Yeah, it, it's you but know, here I can here. No, I just want to show them the corner. Oh, okay. So what are you doing? Move your knees for a second. Oh, yeah. There you go. So you can see the, the corner. Black. Yeah, it's black. Yeah, and it's uh, yeah, not shiny. No, you know, brushed. I and, might do a video of this one, too, because okay. it's so big. Yeah. So, I know that everyone is very excited because you want to see the Wizard of Oz piece, and we obviously want to show it to you, but much like this one, <laughs> it's yeah. friggin' giant, yeah. okay? <laughs> it's, yeah. like, over four feet tall. Yeah. So, um, what we're going to do is, I'm going to, right now, I'm going to show you the two that I took up and got framed, Yeah. and then... After I'm done talking about those two, then we'll insert a video up close of uh, both the Wizard of Oz and the Monopoly board. Right. Um, I thought maybe we'd be able to show. Yeah, let's give it justice. Monopoly. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so the t I took two pieces up, or had Pam take two pieces up for me. Um, and if there's not two pieces that show my how far my tastes are apart from each other than these two. Um, so this is called Happy Halloween by Satsuma Street. I love it so much. Um, I'm a huge fan of like thin, simple frames. So I could have gone like orange or green or purple or black or whatever, but I don't know if you can see how like kind of there's of course, like, I was up there by myself. Yeah, picking and stuff I would, out. I would take pictures of different moldings and 
yeah, text send them, them to, to Steph who yeah. was working and. But she, I love this. Yeah, and your nay it. It's perfect. It yeah. really is. Because the fabric that I stitched it on is um, Vintage Smoky White. Yeah. So it's like the cousin to Vintage Country Mocha. And so I think that is reflected a bit in the frame, which I like. Yes. So that's cool. Yes. Plus, I'm, I get this from Pam, but we're both big proponents of that your eyes should go to your cross stitch first, mm -hmm. not the frame. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that that is that pulled, was achieved. Is pulled mm -hmm. off pretty well on that one. Yes. And then the second one I got is uh, called The Bells on Christmas Day by Blackbird Designs. And this is a little bit thicker of a frame than I'm used to, but I'm very, very happy with it. So mm -hmm. there she is. And there's a frame up close. But this is like so hilarious to me. Mm -hmm. We have a collective taste. We do. <laughs> But yeah, no, I love this. And she, of course, did a beautiful job. I love this house so much. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to put this up at Christmas. Nice. So, um, you know, again, a huge thank you to everyone that donated to buy me a coffee or Ko-Fi. Um, and, you know. And we we'll could... insert the, the videos. Well, that's what I was just going to say. Oh, sorry. But it's fine. Uh, and then, so. Well oiled. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we will enter a video of um, sort of like a close up of both the Monopoly. It'll be a video, not just standing pictures mm -hmm. of both the Monopoly board and of the Wizard of Oz piece. Um, and everyone keeps asking me, do you have a place to hang Wizard of Oz? The answer is yes. But so I live upstairs. It's like the second story is my story. So I think for a while, maybe we'll hang it down here, but I have sort of like a Wizard of Oz wall themed situation happening upstairs with other Wizard of Oz cross stitch I've completed or the Pama stitch for me and just other Wizard of Oz memorabilia and stuff. And so I think it belongs on that wall, but if it's up there, then Pam can't see it because she's never come upstairs. So well, I don't know. It's not never, I do. I know. I but don't have a need to. So. Right, right, right. Yeah. So we'll figure it out. We haven't officially put nails on the wall but yet. Paula so. said, "I want to see it on your wall." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it will be on the wall. Absolutely, it will be on the wall. So we will go ahead and insert that video here. Yeah. All right, everybody. Here is the Monopoly board, so you can see. Just how big she is. Cause we have this set up on our um what is this called? Fireplace. Thank you. Um so she's quite large, but she's so pretty. So and this is one frame. It's not like a mat or like a double frame. It's just one frame to look like that. So we love it. Pam loves it. So, that's Monopoly board. So, <laughs> we had two. I'm standing behind our couch, so you can see just how tall it is. It's ginormous. So, that's obviously the hearth and then the mantle. So, that's how tall it is. So, and then I will go and zoom in for you. So, hold, please. Alrighty. So, it's like a brushed gold frame. And it's just perfect. And per our standards, you want to see the frame first before you, or see the cross stitch first, excuse me. So it's obviously like a situation where it's just, you got to see it in real life. So we're doing our best to show you what it looks like. But uh, I hope that everyone that comes to StitchCon has a chance to come in and see it so um because it's pretty magnificent if i do say so myself so i love it so much oh i love it okay yeah. bye all right so uh we're going to go on with two <laughs> just talk amongst yourselves because i was not prepared <laughs> Promotions. 
Alrighty. So, welcome to the Triple P. This is the promotional portion of the program where we talk to you about the Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week. Right. So, um, every week we put our heads together and between the twins at Twin Peaks and ourselves and we decide on the pattern of the week and that pattern is 20% off for right. all of our amazing viewers for the next week. And so this week, the Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week is what, Pam? This week's Pattern of the Week is heading back towards uh, Nerden's uh, love of samplers. Yes. Uh, more or less in the European style. And um, I think the colors in this sampler are stunning. Yeah. It is called Petham mm -hmm. Manor. Yes. And we're going to insert a picture here. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Yes. Love it. What go. were you going to say? Nope. Go. Okay. So, uh, if you love Petha Manor as much as we love Petha Manor, and you would like to get your hands on a discounted copy of this week's Pattern of the Week, uh, you can do that from three different places. If you want a PDF discount, you can get a PDF copy at a discount. You can do so by going to the Twin Peak Primitives Etsy shop. Or their website linked below if you would prefer to have a hard copy of the pattern of the week that's totally fine too however there's only one place you can get it and that is the TPP limited editions Etsy shop of course linked below so um, there's no coupon code no nothing that you need it is already pre discounted just add it to your account and add it to your cart and check out so yay for that yay for that all right so now it's time let's for let's go to mail call. That was we never said let's go to mail call, Pam. What kind of word is that? Weird. Throwing kind me of, off. Kind of shaking it up you're for throwing, seven years. You're throwing off my game, Pammy. I'm sorry. It's fine. All right. We received a box from across the pond. Yes, we did, and we weren't expecting it. We were not. But okay. it was lovely. It was quite lovely. It was stunning, actually. <laughs> quite stunning. <laughs> um, there's a girl that's on TikTok that makes her, that does recipes, and she's lived in like Canada, England, the UK, uh, all these different places. And so she's picked up little accent things here, and every time she puts something in to of the bowl, she says "in," and then when she shows you, she goes "stunning." And so that's now that's what I do. So thank you for that. Okay, so this came from uh, this package came from a lovely mother and daughter over in the UK, Sarah and Pauline, and um, it was just like, such a generous, lovely thank you package. So yes. uh, this is the super cute card they sent. So cute, love that, precious. I love this cat right here. Mm -hmm. So cute, mm -hmm. um, and a lovely note inside. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So then they sent some treats. They sent a couple of bags of chamomile, lemon balm, and lavender organic infusion tea. Oh, boy. Which sounds stunning. <laughs> uh, then they sent this box of all-butter Scottish shortbread home-bake style squares baked in the Highlands, people. There you go. Straight out of the Highlands. <laughs> he delivered them, actually. <laughs> they sound really good. Uh, then this fancy little situation, oh boy. Uh, I'm going to butcher this, so don't judge me, but it's Charbonnel and Walker milk, sea salt, caramel truffles, milk, chocolate truffles with a caramel and sea salt center, lightly dusted in icing sugar. Oh, and like, look at this super cute little box. Adorbs. We haven't opened it yet. Nope. But it's, um, on at one, the Royal Arcade, 28 Old Bond Street, London. And even like the little seals are little crowns. Oh man. I'm not gonna try one on camera, but I wanna show you them on camera. Yeah, can you get into it? Maybe with a pen you can No, I got it. I need to get my nose so anyway. Okay. Of course there's two crowns. All you royals. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done this beforehand, but you know what? That's fine. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Cute. And then the little, yeah. Ooh. Cute. Ooh. Oh, baby. Watch the powder. 
Ooh, those look so... That's not what I was expecting. I don't no. know what I was, but... Oh, I can't wait to try those. <gasps> so those look delish, obviously. You mm. all just saw them. Um, and then last but certainly not least, she said... These are so exciting. I love gummies from another country. Um... Because they're just different. They're different yeah. than like just gummy bears and gummy worms, you know. Like the ones I had in the Netherlands were the best gummies I'd ever eaten. Yeah. Um, and these are Percy Pig. Percy Pig. So that's exciting. Um, and oh, Percy's. I thought it said grapefruit. I was like, oh, Percy boy. Pig soft fruit flavor gums made with fruit juice. So okay. that's exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very fun. Mm -hmm. So, I can't wait to try those. I love gummies. And then, the pièce de résistance, mm -hmm. or pièces de résistance, <laughs> uh, is... I'm such a dumb American. Um, our two project bags they sent along. So, why don't you show yours, Pam? Look at this beautiful, beautiful bag. This fabric is beautiful because it has... Hexies mm -hmm. from the Scottish Highlands. So you see the thistle, and then on the back, you see the Highland cows. Is I love the Highland beautiful? cows. And then the ribbon, zipper pull, and inside the beautiful purple and the floral. It is just lovely. It is. Just lovely. And I said to Steph, I said, we wouldn't be able to find fabric like this in the United States. Absolutely not. Yeah, no. I mean, there would be no demand for it. Right. You know? But it's just. It's that so cute. It's just so pretty. And then um, this is the bag that they made for me. Look at all the kitty cats. Cute. I love it so much, obviously. And then you, you're going to die over the inside fabric with all the little paw brads. Oh, cute. Very cute. So cute. So, thank you, ladies, thank so you much. much. Very, very much. From one set of mother and daughter to another. Yes, right? absolutely. We love it. We sincerely do. Thank you so much. Yes. All right. Okay. So, the next is Hall. Yes. All right. So, um, I, of course, picked up some things at Craft Gallery, but before then, I also got this new chart from... Erin Elizabeth Designs. This is Quack Quack Honk. Love it. Love it. So cute. Precious. Mm -hmm. If you know um, anything about Boston and the ducks and yeah. all the things, yeah. that's why I got it. So. It's just adorable. And, oh, love you. Yes. Um, and then I also got my monthly... Uh, project bag from Jess at Como Stitches. So this is my May bag. And this is what it looks like. Does that not scream May to you? Spring. Springtime. Mm -hmm. I love this mm -hmm. floral on top, which is also reflected on the back. Mm. Um, and her quilting is just, it's so squishy and so soft. I love mm -hmm. it so much. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the inside is that lovely, like khaki color, which mm -hmm. is such a great combo. So, um, a huge thank you to Jess. A it's gorgeous. I love it so much. There you go. All right. So then, uh, excuse the crinkle crinkle. Mm hmm But here is our craft gallery hall. So um, they, one thing that, so I work at across the shop, right? So like how much um, stuff do I really need? You know, yeah. uh, but they do carry fabrics that keepsakes just does not carry for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, and so I always check out their selections, um, you know, because. So I picked up three different fat quarters. Uh, this is 36, all 36 count, but this is Legionnaire Latte from R&R. &R. Love it. And then I got uh, another R&R &R called Vintage Homespun. Just in case you want a comparison. Mm -hmm. This one's a little lighter than that one. Mm -hmm. 
And then I also got a 36 count lakeside linen in the color Fawn. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. So I got those. Then um, I do plan on stitching the entire Log Cabin Christmas series from Little House Needleworks. Um, at market, one of the distributors that was there was carrying the thread packs. They sold out by the time I got to there. Mm -hmm. And so, but Paul and Carlton got them. So I picked the thread pack up. So that's great to have. Mm -hmm. I mean, any of those fabrics I just showed you would be perfect for that. Yeah. Uh, then I picked up this Mill Hill, never seen it before, called Home for Christmas. Love it. Um, and their shop model did not have the dog button on there, so I thought, hmm, maybe I can find a cat button and put it oh, on there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, they had the new Brenda Gervais charts in stock, so I picked up the two that I was wanting. This is Summer's Swan. Mm -hmm. I love the flag. Mm -hmm. So cool. Mm -hmm. And then this is called Grand Old Flag. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Look at that display. I mean, really? Yeah. I'm obsessed. Yeah. And then they had um, a few 50% um, off bins. So, yeah. you know, your girl had to look at those. Mm -hmm. And I found this book that was published by um, Vicki Jeanette of Needlework Press. And it looks like, I haven't read every single word. But it looks like her daughter-in-law. And they put together this book called A Schoolroom Alphabet. 12 cross-stitch projects based on an antique handkerchief. Lovely. And it's, I mean, for, for Quite a book. I mean, yeah, there's 12 projects in there. Yeah. So the back says, enter the world of a one-room school to discover 12 delightful needlework lessons, all inspired by an antique alphabet handkerchief. Once owned by Eunice Bacon. So, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, the some of my favorite... I won't show you every single thing that's in here because we'll be here for a day and a half, but... Um, so, there's a little... Oh, sorry, I'm jumping Oh, in. yeah, yeah. Yep, okay. yep. Um, is I really... This is called... Oh, I don't know if she's got a name for this. But, I love that sampler. That's so cool. It says... Be not like those who grace oppose and give their minds to play, but let your mind be well inclined in seeking wisdom's way. I love that. Deep. What'd you say? That's dupe. Oh, I thought you said dupe. And I was like, a dupe for what? Um, and uh, I also really love this schoolhouse sampler roll. I just love that little scene with the schoolhouse and the swing set. And this one says, okay, put your boots back on. Let truth thy thoughts and actions dress that wisdom may increase whose ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace. Lovely. So, um, you know, those are just, there's a horn book in here. There's a whole alphabet that's, um, there's just a ton of really, really great products in here. And I was kind of, I mean, look how pretty that is. I was kind of. School Room Alphabet. Yep. That's the name of the book. Yep. So mm -hmm. I don't know if this is out of print. I don't know. It, it looks like it was published by Kansas City Star Quilts. Hmm. Um, I don't, I should have looked to see the year. Let me see. 2014. Oh, okay. So, 10 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay. There you go. And that is all I got. What did you get, Pam? Well, these are other 50% off. This, one I, this is a Cricut, and I've never seen it before. And I'm looking at it while Steph's talking, and I, I think I'm appreciating it even more. This is number 297. It's called All Through the House. Mm -hmm. And it looks like this. And when Stephanie brought it to me at the, sh at the store up in Finley, I thought these were four separate charts. But no, there's, this is duplicative of this. This has the chimney. Then this is the, the floor, second floor, floor bedroom. Yeah. This is the living room. And then this is down here. Yeah. 
and there's a mouse. So it's. Did you not realize all four tracks were in there? No, I did not. Or that you could almost stitch them according to the directions on the back mm. and either attach them or That's hang them. That's kind of fun. I've never seen this before. No, I, I never had either. Copyright what? 09? Is that what that means? I don't think so. Okay. I don't know then. Um, usually. Yep, 2009. Yep, there Vicky, you go. Vicky Hastings. So, so what does it say? Hold on. Yeah, it's towards the night before Christmas and yeah. all through the house. And then it's the two different floors. Look, there's a cat there, there's yeah. a cat there, there's Lots a cat, cat there. Um, so they, that's interesting that they've got it stitched. Mm -hmm. Like Singular. that. yeah. But like, look at how cute those little ha layers are with the fireplaces and the beds. It's adorable. So cute. Yep. Yep, we're going to need to stitch that. And I picked up this... Um, Praiseworthy. I love the winter ones from Praiseworthy. This is stitched on Mirage from PTP. Yes. But this is called Winter at Sugar Hill. And I just love it. Yeah. We used to go down to uh, Old Joe's Pond in South Portland, Maine to ice skate. And this brings back those memories. Yeah, because so, look. look. Lots of kids on the ice. Look at all them little skaters. Yeah, love it. Love so it. cute. Yeah. Winter at Sugar Hill. So yep. that'll be added to my praiseworthy collection. Obviously. Obviously. Yep. Um, so that was our haul. haul. Add to cart. Um, if you made it this far, good for you yep. because we didn't You're in for give a you treat. a heads up, but we have got some giveaways well, we galore. Did, we did tell them last week that we do this. Yeah, we did. So. But we didn't tell you how we were going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is how we're going to do it. Okay, so. We put together. Yep. Seven themed bundles mm -hmm. of mostly charts. I mean, not exclusively charts, but mostly, mostly charts. charts. Yeah. Seven themed bundles. Yep. And I don't know that Stephanie's done any thinking on this ahead of time, but she will come up with a word mm -hmm. for a each word. bundle if you want to enter to win any of the giveaways. Yes. You can enter for all seven. You can only win one. Correct. All the giveaway rules on Floss Tube apply. Yes. And 18 I, years of age or older. You can live literally anywhere. I know some people don't mail internationally, but we do. Yep. So you can live wherever. Doesn't matter to us. So, uh, settle in. We're yes. going to go through the contents of each bundle. You might want to grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Yes, and then uh, after I show off the bundle, then I will give you the keyword. Uh, and put those all in the um, description box, too. Uh, I do every time. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, the first bundle is the nautical bundle. That's of course. Obviously. And so here, I'm gonna give you the bag. Uh huh. And, and then I'll hand you the charts as I show them. Perfect. So this is uh, we have two charts from Everyday Stitcher. This is called Save the Whales, and this is Beach Day. Then from Pam is Passion the Stash on a Little House Knitterworks, Old Nantucket. Then this is Whale Hello There from Hands On Design. And then this is from Mill Hill and this is called At The Shore. And the keyword to enter for the nautical bundle is Whale, W-H-A-L-E. And you gotta put, use it in a sentence. All right, the next bundle is the winter bundle. And the charts in here are uh, from Heart and Hand. This is the ABCs of snow. Look at how cute that is. Oh, I got to stitch that. Uh, then this is called winter medley, and it call says flakes fall, home fires call, light so Bright winter night. So freaking cute. Love that. 
Then from Homespun Elegance, this is called Waiting and Watching. And it even comes with a little star button there for you. Cute. This is from Little House Mita Works, and this is called Winter Whites. It's got some words there that are like blizzard, frost, you know, snow, winter. So cute. Then this is from By the Bay Needle Art called New England Winter. I like that. So cute. And then last in the winter bundle is a Little House Needle Works ornament called It's Snow Cold. So precious. All right, so to enter for the winter bundle, you must use the word snow in your comment. All right, bundle number three is the springtime slash Easter bundle. And that bundle includes another pasta stash from Pam. This is Colonial Blooms from the Scarlet House. This is from Annie B's Folk Art called Time to Bloom. Cute. This is from Stitches by Ethel called Garden Friends. That's got floss with it. Yeah, and the button. So, oh yeah, it's got the that DMC. Sorry, I want to show the chart. And then this is from Puntini Puntini, and this is called Al B B E E. There. Uh, this comes with the buttons, not the pins, but the buttons. Uh, from Primrose Cottage, this is Happy Easter. Also from Primrose, we have Kind Words. Then last from uh, for the spring bundle from Bent Creek, we have purple and white. And it's a little egg with little chicks inside. So cute. And we have the embellishment for that too. So to enter for the spring bundle, you must use the word bloom. B-L-O-O-M. All right. Then next is the sampler bundle and in this bundle we've got Clara Hansen from Hello from Liz Matthews we have Caroline Dawson sampler from The Old Man and the Bee so pretty then from uh, Needlework Press, we have um, And Be Kind to One Another. This is part of that like three part series with these other charts. It's so cool. Love this. Then this is from Hands Across the Sea Samplers called Emily Wildhack, 1874. From Stacy Nash, we have Schoolgirl Sampler Sewing Bag. And then the last for the sampler bundle is from Romy's Creations called Samplers Are My Happy Place. The code word to enter for the sampler bundle is alphabet. A L P H A B E T. Alphabet. All right. The next bundle is the autumnal bundle. Autumn, fall, you know. All right. The We've got Harvest Time by RETM. Some Quaker pumpkin situations. Then this is from Blue Ribbon Designs. This is called An Expression of Gratitude. And it says, as we gather together, we give thanks for the blessings bestowed upon us. Nice Thanksgiving piece. Then next, we have Family Blessings by Imaginating. Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
Those colors are awesome. I love it. Yep. Then next we have the September from the Prairie Schooler. So cute. Here we go. Then we have the Oodles of This is cardstock, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then we have Oodles of Autumn from Bench Creek. And then last in the Autumn Bundle, we have Fall Squared from Lizzie Kate. So, to be entered in the Autumn Bundle, you must use the word pumpkin. P U M P K I N. Okay? Pumpkin. All right, bundle number six is the Americana bundle. Okay? So we've got Let Freedom Ring from Everyday Stitcher. Love it. Then we've got Party Like It's 1776 from Little Stitch Girl. You gotta stitch that down. Oh, I know. I do. Uh, this is called Liberty Lane by Country Cottage Needleworks. Then we've got My Home Sweet Home by With a Needle and Thread. Love it. From Stitches by Ethel, we have A Day for Freedom. This one is chart only. Then this is from Where We Dwell. This is from Shepherd's Bush. And the chart is called Where We Dwell. Mm, I love that. And then last in the Americana bundle is from Starlight Stitching Co. Is one of these little floss pouches. So this is a vinyl front with a zipper. And then um, we've given a few of these away before. But I think this is the last of the ones that she sent us to give away. Um, and so they're very nice, very well made. Mm -hmm. But we felt it belonged in the Americana bundle. So mm -hmm. um, to be entered to win the Americana bundle, you must use the word freedom. F-R-E-E-D-O-M. Okay. You cannot wait to see the sentences that you come up with, okay? Then last, but certainly not least, mm -hmm. is the Halloween bundle. Alrighty. As seen on Floss Tube. <laughs> Happy Halloween by Satsuma Street. Sorry. Then from uh, Autumn Lane Citry, this is called Something Wicked This Way Comes. Along with some fabric from Live and Die LA, four, nope, 16 count opalescent Ada in the color Husavik. Which, I mean, you could stitch that on that. That's just a thought. Uh, then, next in the Halloween bundle is from Satsuma Street. It's I Scream. This is a full kit because I bought it twice. <laughs> Stitched it once, but bought it. Once. Yes. Uh, then next is from uh, Needle Bling Designs. This is called Scaredy Cat. And then last in the Halloween bundle is a uh, secret lair from the Haunted Guest House by Bent Creek. All right. So. To enter for the Halloween bundle, you need to use the word spooky. S P O O K Y. Okay? So, whale, snow, bloom, alphabet, pumpkin, freedom, spooky. It's going to be fantastic. I can't even wait. No. So, um, we will pull winners for all of those giveaways next Sunday. 
That's right. So make sure you tune in. That is our, I do believe, our pre-Memorial Day episode. Right. Let me just double check my so, calendar. So, I mean, you might be doing other stuff on Memorial Day weekend, but make sure that you watch. Yeah. Um, yes, a week from today is the... You know, seven, eight, or nine days hence. Because... Yeah, and then any of the winners, I always tag them in the description box, so... Right, we can do that. So. Yes, so, alrighty. You know, good luck to all the people All of you that, wonderful people. Because, uh, talk about eclectic. Taste. I, mean, I mean, truly. Designers from every spectrum yes. are in these bundles. And and that's a combination of past the stash from Pam and I, but mm -hmm. also the majority of those things are donations from our wonderful viewers. Right. Um, and Who so, said we could take what we yes. wanted and use the rest for giveaways. And, and so here we are. And that's that's what we're here seven for. Seven bundles for seven all Seven bundles seven for seven years. Winners. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. So um, we want to, like we've mentioned, the buy me a coffee yep. and Kofi links uh, are in the description box below. If you are so inclined, um, we want to especially thank Jana for yes. her donation this week. Thank you so much, ma'am. And um, plans include, um, let's just see, you know, we're I getting, mean, we should probably go to dinner on Thursday, Pam. Well, we can do that. There's nothing stopping us from doing we that. We probably should. Um, and then, um, you know, we're down to weekly StitchCon meetings. Yeah, I was going to say, we have a uh, StitchCon meeting tomorrow. And so that's going on. And other than that, you know, not yeah. a whole lot's going on. Yep, you that's, know, it's, that's Everything kind of revolves around stitching. It does. Um, <laughs> so, that, that is true, you know. Yeah, I know it's true. That's why I said it, you know. <laughs> so thanks for stopping in. Yeah. I was a little on the long side, but uh, it's it's a, right. it's a big day around yep. here. Yep. Seven years marks a lot of effort and enjoyment and love and friendship mm -hmm. and community yeah. and and, uh, stitch. and and stitching. You my know? my goodness. My my goodness, man. <laughs> My, my goodness. We hope you enjoyed, and we hope you have a great week coming up, uh, filled with lots of stitching. This yeah. is graduation season, and we're heading into summer, so, yes. um, you know, uh, we hope that you're Stay enjoying. Stay safe out there. It's, it's kind of um, our first really, really hot day here in mm. Southwest Ohio, so um, these two broads are going to be inside. 100%. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, but anyway, thanks again for seven fantastic years, yes. and um, here's to uh, year eight. There we go. Here we go. Yep. Until next time, I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.